So this is Fusion 360, the program that uh, I highly recommend. So let's start by, uh, let's start a sketch. Uh, so just pick a plane. Um, this one is going to be a little bit more advanced than, than I, I've done in the past. So let's put a circle. Doesn't real, the size really doesn't matter too much. Okay, and let's see, let's put another circle up here. Not too big, something like that. Okay, now we're going to hit T for trim. We're going to trim this bottom piece out and escape. And now we're going to go back to the sketch menu and we're going to a uh, circular pattern. So we're going to click on this. So we're, we're highlighting this uh, semicircle. And then come over here and click center point. There's our center point. And then just add however many um, times you want it to show up. So let's do eight. All right. So let's go back to trim. And let's trim these additional segments out of here. It's probably an easier way, but this is how I do it. And just hit the, the T is a shortcut for trim. Or you can find it um, over here under sketch. All right, so we have a basic shape. So let's um, stop the sketch. And now we're going to go into um, create form. So we're create, extrude. All right, and we have um, 16 faces. And the front faces we're going to increase to um, let's see, let's try eight. Okay, and there we go. And let's uh, turn it around a little bit and get it positioned. Okay, so next we're going to, um, you can modify edit form. So we're going to do some edit forming. And this is really, really cool. I, uh, this function, you can just do so much. So I'm going to click on one of these horizontal lines, double click, and that takes us all the way around. And reach in here and grab this little triangle guy, and you can start to change the shape. So that's good. I'm going to come up here, do the same thing. So now I'm, I'm shaping the vessel. OK, maybe a little bit less. OK. I'm going to come up here, again, double click, grab the set a circle with three triangles, and punch it out just a little bit. Come on up here. I'm doing this kind of fast just for the video. Normally, I'd probably spend a little bit more time on it. Again, the trick is to double click. When you double click, it, it highlights the entire um, circumference. If you just click on, on one, you can see it just just functions in this area here, which you don't want to do. Uh, hopefully, okay, I can back out. All right, and you can also right click and do edit form. So that's interesting, but not interesting enough. So let's come up here and double click again. But this time, I'm going to turn it up on N, and I'm going to find this this handle here, and this handle will give you a twisting moment. So we're just going to maybe about 15 degrees and turn it sideways to see what you're doing. It's over here. It's a little more difficult to grab. OK. And then we're going to come up to maybe um, probably here. And we're going to grab the same thing. It's difficult to see here. If you get used to it, you can see this is the one you need to grab right here. So I like to turn it up so I can see what, what's happening. So we're going to twist it over in this direction. All right, down here maybe. Um, maybe a little bit more. And this, no, I don't know. That doesn't look so good. OK, there. OK. Um, so you get the idea of what, what's possible here. Now the base doesn't look really that, that good. We can double click and bring bring it in a little bit. 
Um, and we can also, it's a little bit more advanced, um, let's see, modify, insert edge. So you can actually, uh, let's get a better view here. So we can insert this edge wherever we would like it. And then that way, let's click OK. That way I can come back and pick up that edge and right click edit form and I can change it just in this area here so I have a little bit more control so I can put more of a foot into the into the bottom so anyway that was uh, what I wanted to show you it's kind of interesting it didn't take very very long to do and the, the potential is just immense um, so now in order to print this we do finish form and then make 3D print. Uh, be careful of your resolution here. This is it's on low, medium, or high. Um, high can create a very large file. I find medium is is just fine. But for this video, we'll do low because it's a little bit faster. All right. So now you're just going to click on the object, and it takes a second because now the computer is calculating all the triangles. So there we go. Now this is the part I really wanted to, to show you. Um, normally, let's see, normally when you open a Fusion 360, this is what you have. And output, um, the send to 3D printer utility isn't clicked. Um, so you can actually save it as an STL. So if you click OK, it'll save it as an STL, which is fine. But if you have Sim Simplify 3D, which I recommend to all my customers, because that's the program I primarily support, click this, okay? Now, the customers, a couple of you have said, well, how do you get Simplify 3D in here? Well, you have to show it where it is. So, essentially, you open this up, and you have to lead it to... Um, you have to lead it to a PC... Windows, see my C drive, under Program Files and Simplify 3D. In other words, this is where the program resides. And what you're looking for is the application, um, the icon that actually starts the application. So you're going to double click on this file and you're going to, to load it in here. Okay. And once it's loaded in there, it's quite simple. You, you do the this procedure we just went through and click OK. And now it's going to automatically launch. There we are. So it's automatically going to launch um, uh, Simplify 3D. And there's the vessel. And uh, just a couple little tricks. Uh, double click. You can uh, resize the vessel. Vessel. Let's go to 200%. Uh, and you can also um, unclick uniform. And you can. Um, change the Z, the X, or the Y. Let's see, what's that, 300? Let's go to 400. And that's kind of interesting. And if the vessel comes in on its side, okay, I'm just going to trick it on its side. Um, all you really have to do is, is come over here, and either it's typically on the Y, and just change it, either put 90, 180, or 275 in. So, but it came in straight this time. It, and then, of course, you have to hit center range, and that brings it up to the uh, to the center. Uh, okay, let's go a little bit further. Um, we supply. Let's see if I can find it here. Okay, on our website, if you go to FAQ, uh, we're supplying two different types of uh, Simplify 3D files. First of all, we're supplying the FFF files. And these files, let's go back to um, simplify. Okay, these files are the process files over here. So this is a this is a process file right here. Uh, this says default um, the 3.5 new. So see up up in the corner here it says FFF settings. So this is the uh, the profile. And it has all of the parameters. Um, so the layer, the addition, the infill, 
um, in the speed, the speed is right here. So if you load an FFF file, it brings into the machine everything you need, including, this is a question that I get every once in a while, including the machine setup. So the, what type of firmware, the baud rate, uh, the X, Y, and Z, all of this comes in with the FFF file. So there's absolute, absolutely no reason that you have to fill this in um, over here, which it would be, let's see if I can find it, um, somewhere under here, the machine, yeah. So you don't have to, you don't have to actually populate this because when you bring in the, the process file or the FFF file, it comes in automatically if you have these boxes checked, update machine definition, see. So it comes in with the FFF file. Um, and to import the FFF file, you just simply come over here and go import, and it'll take you to whatever location um, your FFF file is. So you come to the website, click on this, and it will take you to a Dropbox, and you can download load the files. Now this is Simplify 3D Factory Settings. These are really, really interesting because um, and this is a link, it takes you to a, a, a Dropbox, and I think I have like four or five different vessels. But the factory setting has all the parameters. Um, when you double, and, and you don't actually load it into Simplify 3D. You don't open it up here, you don't drag it in, you just double click it. And when you double click it, it brings in everything, including the vessel, including the, the FFF files, including all of the settings here. So essentially, uh, whoever created the factory setting has uh, the file, has taken care of everything. And that's why I kind of put these up here for you to, to play around with. So you just double click on that file and it, it'll automatically launch. You get everything, all you have to do basically is, is click uh, prepare to print. Oh, this one's kind of messy. I've got too much stuff going on here. Let me clean it up a little bit. Let me get rid of these. Get rid of these. Um, okay, and then all you have to do is prepare to print. And then, of course, save it to the SD card. And that's it. Now, of course, you can you can modify it. So you can go to your, your process file or your FFF file and Maybe you want to change the nozzle size, okay, or the uh, extruder multiplier, which basically is um, how fast you want the extruder to run. So if you want it to run twice as fast, you go twice whatever this number is here. Um, so I hope that helps a little bit um, answer some questions. Uh, let's go through the. Hope the video is not getting too long. Let's go through the uh, FFF files and basically. Um, the settings, basically uh, your extruder, of course, the extruder, the nozzle size, uh, and I just discussed the multiplier and retraction settings. Now our machines do uh, retract quite well. You're going to have to play around with these settings. And in the FAQ, I've actually uh, given you some recommend recommendation. So you can stop and start our machine with uh, um, not much problem. Okay, the layer height, of course, you're going to set your layer height and um, no top, but the bottom, you can set the bottom if you want to print your bottom or if you want to use solid uh, uh, slab of clay. Um, additions, I typically uh, use a skirt, a uh, couple of uh, uh, rounds, and this is priming the extruder nozzle before it actually starts on the print. And then infill, uh, don't use any support. Make sure in the temperature that this box is not clicked because if it's clicked, it's waiting for the extruder, extruder to warm up, which of course is not going to happen. Nothing in cooling. Um, and this is the, uh, the machine definition we just talked about, so you want to have these boxes checked. The scripts are really uh, interesting and you can play around with them. Um, you have to know a little bit more G, G code. So this is G28. Basically, that's that's a home command, and uh, this is more advanced for another machine. Um, and you can also have in here um, uh, to prime the extruder. So the prime the extruder prior 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 to printing would be G O E 
that's what the extruder is, so it would be E like 200, and that would give you a little bit of prime. And the same thing at the end, um, you can do, this is, this is for a more complicated machine, don't pay attention to this. So at the end, you can also do the extruder, you could go GO um, minus E, which is minus the extruder, uh, 200 or 300, and this um, takes the pressure off the extruder. And other, uh, this is essentially your default printing speed here. So this is kind of a one you have to play around with depending on your machine. And not much in the advanced. So, all right, I think that's kind of uh, getting uh, enough for this video. Um, I hope it, it helped. And uh, leave some comments if you'd like me to make some more. It only takes a couple of minutes. And uh, uh, I hope it helps. Thanks for watching.